<laughs> but every night I lie in bed, the logic projects fill my head. A million chores are keeping us awake. I think of what Makati could be, a vision of us on the sea. A million bucks is all it's going to take. <laughs> Oh, a million dreams and a million bucks away. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Our Life V3. You know, we had a different opening planned for this video, but then ran into this little gem of a song that we created while working on Makani. It captured our emotions and attitudes perfectly when we realized that we had underestimated the amount of work and funds needed to keep her afloat. And it took everything that we had in us hey, to keep going. Yeah. Snowball fight. <laughs> Fortunately, we were able to stay positive even when it felt like she was a never-ending money pit that demanded something new from us every day. We eventually worked through all of it and needing to recoup some funds, decided to share her with others by offering Captain Charters. This was a bigger shift than we expected. We went from being the ones going on the excursions and learning about the world and its inhabitants to offering our sailing excursions and sharing what we've learned along the way. We're still experimenting on finding our niche. However, day charters work well for both our guests and us, with sunset cruises being our favorite. We find peace in the sound of the waves lapping on the bow, while birds glide gently over the water. The blue sky gives way to bursts of pinks and oranges and reds as the sun's final rays surrender to a blanket of stars. It's simply beautiful. Many times, it doesn't feel like work at all. We've come a long way from the initial boat purchase to owning a charter business, and a lot of work went into getting the business up and running. We were truly starting from scratch, and we had to work through all of the licensing and boating regulations. While doing this, we were also working on making Makani as comfortable as possible for our guests. No doubt about it, Makani is the perfect boat for those who want to stretch out while enjoying a fun sail, and we're ready to share with you how she turned out. We think she's fantastic, and our guests state the same. Makani features four seating areas, including a large flybridge. The bow sports two large trampolines, the perfect place to lounge on a hot summer's day. The cool air near the water makes its way up through the trampolines, balancing out the warmth from the sun above. They are by far the most popular place for our guests to stretch out and relax. We've replaced the existing trampolines after the last season as they were starting to show signs of wear. The new pair are fantastic. They're very comfortable and offer more stability. Makani also has a front seating area where four can sit comfortably. It's a great place to hang out and feel the breeze. We added two beanbags for those who choose to sit on the deck, and they've become quite a hit with our guests. The decks between the bow and stern are wide, and there are multiple grab bars for added stability, making it very comfortable to move about while underway. The sugar scoops at the stern makes accessing the water very easy. We use them to board our dinghy when we go paddle boarding and swimming, and whenever we need a lower entry onto Makani. The flybridge can sit four to six comfortably. We enjoy having our guests join us at the helm to chat about what they're seeing, learn about sailing, or just for some good conversation. For those who followed our initial sailing videos, Makani was a convertible when we purchased her. We enjoyed being out but didn't like the exposed feeling during rain showers and storms. A hard top was added, which along with weather protective surround, helps keep us warm and dry during storms and shaded when sunny. It's truly a pleasure being at the helm. The aft cockpit is perfect for those wanting to go outside, but not be in direct sunlight. Eight guests can sit comfortably in this area, and it has room for a small drink or a larger dining table. Moving inside, the saloon is wide and bright with nearly 360 degrees of views of the outside. The settee cushions have been reupholstered and some of the woodwork refinished. Six can sit comfortably around the optional dining table or the table can be stowed, leaving the area open for lounging. The port side is available for our guests to use. We've upgraded the queen, 
and double-sized beds with custom memory foam mattresses. Our guests who have stayed on board overnight have enjoyed the extra comfort they provide. There are two restrooms available for guest usage. Makani came with manual toilets, which use seawater to flush. It was difficult to explain how to use them, and the seawater produced a very unpleasant odor. We've decided to upgrade the toilets from manual seawater flushes to electric freshwater flushes. This was quite an undertaking, both physically and financially. Not only did the toilets need to be replaced, but all of the waste hoses too. You may have noticed that we have teak looking floor cover in different areas around Makani. We wanted certain areas to feel more comfortable underfoot as many guests go barefoot while aboard. Sea Deck, a foam-like material, was chosen to accomplish this goal. Layering the mocha and chocolate colors and cutting in a teak pattern gives Makani a higher end look. Overall, we love the Sea Deck. It's so comfortable, looks fantastic, and is easy to clean. In June of 2022, we were satisfied with how Makani looked and performed. New Wind Charters LLC was open for business. We decided to offer three to eight hour captain day charters on Galveston Bay, but we're so busy getting Makani in shape and taking care of the business and legal requirements that we didn't have any marketing ready, nor did we have any pictures to publish. Fortunately, Jessica, Jackie, and family joined us for Father's Day weekend. They jumped in taking pictures and allowed us to use them for our advertising. Steve did an amazing job coding our website, newwindcharters.com, and making short promotional videos. We also signed up on Boat Setter, a boat rental site. We're so thankful that they're available and fairly easy to use. Overall, our guests have been outstanding. Many wanting to enjoy a peaceful sunset, while others just wanting to anchor and go for a swim. Three and four hour cruises are the most popular, which starts with a leisurely motor through the Clear Lake channels and past Kima Boardwalk into Galveston Bay, where we sail for about two to three hours. We're happy with Kima, Texas as a base of operation for now. Within a few miles of our location is NASA Space Center, Houston, Kima Boardwalk, an amusement and dining area, and multiple restaurants and parks. Houston is just to the north, and Galveston, which offers a cruise port, beaches, and much more, being just about 45 minutes to the south. If you're ever in the Houston or Galveston area, we'd love to have you out for a sail on our beautiful Makani. Even with all the work, we found a little time for play and have a backlog of videos to create and share. We took a Disney cruise to Mexico and an NCL cruise to South America and Antarctica. We're really looking forward to putting that one together for you all. Thanks for watching. Remember to find your dream and own it. Safe travels, everyone.